All right, guys, for our at-home activity today, I'm going to show you a really simple activity. We call it salt writing. Um, lots of preschool teachers use it. Um, lots of families use it for just a more fun way to practice writing. So I have a cookie sheet with a rim and I've got some flour. Now I know I said I, it was called salt writing, but you can really use anything for this. I'm going to use flour because it sticks better to the pan and I don't think it will fall off as easy as I sh as easily as I show you. But you can use salt, you can use sugar, um, you can use cinnamon. Um, again, I'm using flour and it does not take very much. This is literally two spoons full. Um, and it's really enough to cover plenty of the surface of this pan. So I'm just spreading it out and um, then you are going to put this in front of your child and give them a model for something to write. So um, I've got just right here, I wrote a letter A and your child is just going to take their little finger and they're gonna make letter A. And you wanna give them that model so that they can copy it correctly. So I'm gonna go down, up, down, and across. So there's my letter A, and when they're done, they can shake it. Sugar for sugar, that works really well. For mine, I'm gonna to need to use my, my hand and kind of spread it back out. Um, so you can do letters. Um, if your child's already really good at their uppercase letters, try lowercase. A lot of times that's harder because they haven't had as much exposure, exposure to lowercase letters. Um, you can do numbers. I have right here um, number three model. Um, so you could do number three, bump, bump, number three. Um, if your child is a little bit older, maybe they're in kindergarten or first grade and they're working on like sight words, they could write their sight words. Um, you can do shapes. If your child's really into shapes, they can just draw shapes. Oh, that was supposed to be a square, but you know, I'm not looking straight at it. <laughs> um, anyway, use it however you like. Um, what I would do if I were teaching this at school, I would have a goal for them, you know, like maybe we're going to write six letters or six shapes or whatever you're doing. And then at the end, as um, kind of a reward for finishing your work, I would let them just do free um, play or draw. Um, and when you get to that, you know, they can draw whatever you want. They might want to do happy faces or just handprints or whatever they like. But um, what I like to do at school is just um, have them do what I expect them to do first um, with their modeling and then um, I'll let them play with it at the end because it is just super fun to play with as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this at-home activity and I will see you again tomorrow with a new one. Have a great day.